Here are two great ways of getting the most out of this brush extender. Hi, my name is Rémi Bedoy. I'm a licensed painter, color consultant, owner of Expressions Painting, uh, and founder of Expressions Painting University. Just this week, me and Gino had this job where we use this brush extender in two different situations. So I wanted to share those with you so that you can uh, have this in the back of your mind as, uh, as an option to save big chunks of time uh, in your production and really increase uh, efficiency. So now the, I'm going to show you a quick video. Keep in mind this video here, we were actually keeping the exact same color as what's there. So in terms of precision with the cutting, it didn't need to be quite as precise as, let's say, if it was a drastic color change. But I do want to, to mention that even if the color had been a different uh, a color change, this is still an option that Gino has become quite comfortable with uh, and would still have been able to do uh, this uh, with a color change. But in this instance, he was actually able to go perhaps a little bit faster uh, than, uh, than normally, uh, than if it would have been a color change. So here's an, an example where instead of bringing in the 24 foot ladder, really tall ladder, and then climbing up the ladders, this is where we were able to save big chunks of time with the cutting in because as I'm sure you know as a painter, if, you, if you're a painter or if you're a homeowner, uh, at least we'll give you the, this tip that as far as rolling sections like that, we use the longer poles. So the rolling part regardless would be done from the floor with long extension poles. But for the cutting in, typically we would need to bring a long ladder to get to that. But with this brush extender and those long poles, we were able to do all of that cutting in, saving a substantial amount of time. Now I do want to point one thing out. This uh, th this kind of tool here is uh, is not necessarily something that's going to come natural uh, right at at first. So just like anything else, you do need to practice uh, to get to the point where you would be comfortable working with such a long extension pole. So most painters, I would recommend to start with a one to two foot pole, so that you can maybe just start with painting a regular size ceiling, perhaps an eight foot wall. Uh, where you start practicing uh, doing the cutting in from the floor and then as you may have seen Gino uh, do in the video you can actually change the angle there depending on if you need to go sideways or if you need to go up or up and down like this. So basically I would practice with the smaller pole because it will give you a better sense of control. Practice your dipping with, uh, with the uh, adapter in the, on, on the pole. And as you get comfortable, then you can start increasing in how high in, in terms of uh, and long uh, for the pole that you can reach different heights, right? So it opens up a whole new sets of possibilities once you get comfortable. Because the last thing, of course, that you would want is to not be quite comfortable and then end up touching the ceiling, which would then increase dramatically how much time it would take you, right? So do keep that in mind. But I'll show you another example where especially when we're doing uh, interior repaints, which this is our specialty, this is all, all that we do. Well, when you're dealing with a job where there's furniture, sometimes you may come across situations where you can't bring in a ladder such as this example. Now, if you look at this image, you see that with the slanted ceiling, with the, the fact that the bed was there, we couldn't bring any kind of ladders or staging, or, or, or if we did, it just would have been so complicated that instead we just took that extender with the four to eight pole and we're, we're able to, to cut in, in in a matter of seconds. Like within a minute, that entire ceiling there in the slanted ceiling was cut in, right? So 
this is an instance where instead of maybe telling the client to empty that room to make it accessible with the ladders or equipment, this became very simple for the homeowner. She just left the furniture there, we covered everything up, and then we were able to just do the cutting in and the rolling with those extension poles. Did you get value in this video? I'm certainly hoping that you did. And if you would like more tips and tricks like this, be sure to sign up for our weekly tips and tricks newsletter where we send you a new tip every week. All right, you can do so at the link below or at, or at expressionspaintinguniversity.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next week.